Well, it's my second video tonight. Like I said, I was on vacation until somebody sent me a video, and now I'm on my next video tonight. Um, I personally. What is this? Oh, gosh. I don't know what the topic's going to be in this video. I need to just speak what's on my mind and not say certain things that I want to say because I've already done several videos that I'm editing and I'm going to upload and edit these videos to express myself why I've been gone. I'm tired of seeing people fall off YouTube. I stopped making videos when Future Soldier was gone. I read the video and this man said he was quitting. I read the, the, the message he gave me. He said he's done. I'm tired of this shit. I read this shit and I said, okay, this guy's leaving, this guy's leaving, this guy's leaving, this girl's leaving, this people going, this person going, this person going. Fuck it. I'm out of here. Over the last few days, I've been doing all kind of things. Scratching my back with a pair of scissors right now. <sighs> like I told you in that one video, I got a problem with my damn skin and it's itching. And maybe I don't wash my ass enough. I don't. Oh, just... The real AIX is committed to being real on every video. The real AIX is committed to the people who watch the real AIX. The real AIX tries to be real in every single situation. I can go fake. If I go fake, I'll become a partner and probably get rich. If I go fake and start talking about bullshit unity, I can come up. If I can stop talking about bullshit situations and start getting pop like a, ooh, do news with a laugh and a joke, I can come up. But instead, I try to tell the people who watch my channel the truth, as far as I see it. And I did this one thing, George Bush, Bush in the magic shoes. And my boy Helen Back said, I don't agree with you on that. I didn't go ahead and attack him and try to kill him. Oh, you don't agree with me. Let me send the troops to you. I didn't do that shit. He don't agree with me. I appreciate that he don't agree with me, but I don't agree with him. I think the leader of the United States of America is just like the fucking Pope. I'm sorry. But I don't give a damn who leads our country as long as everybody on the world respects it. Not everybody in the world, everybody on the world needs to just respect the American president. Why? Because we've been taught to respect other leaders of other countries. Even when our own country won't even speak to these other leaders, we have a certain basic human respect. I mentioned that in all of my videos. I try to, a basic human respect. So, I can't get in any more beef because my people don't want me in beef. The people that I have watched me who have beef don't want me in beef. Um, I saw a video about a week ago and they're saying YouTube is going to be censored. Same things we'll be able to do and won't be able to do. All kind of this and that. Stipulation this, stipulation that, all this, all that, everything, blah, 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 blah. You can censor the hell out of YouTube as much as you want to. Look at that, look at that. Ooh, got something on the table. I don't give a fuck no more. Censor the fuck out this motherfucker. I don't care. Because you will censor yourself out of millions of viewers. Because as soon as the real AIX can't say shit or fuck, got the lemon. I'm making my own lemonade, yo. Ooh, I got East Coast with the yo, man. Huh. 
And I'm going to mention something that bugged me. I got a video coming out next week called Hood Report 2. If you remember my video Hood Report, yes, I went back to the hood this week, holiday week. I went to go visit family members and a little brother's birthday is on Christmas Day. He's struggling hard to survive. Life is fucked up. My baby brother, the youngest brother of all of my brothers, is stranded. He's stranded in Louisiana. So the thing is this, a lot of people will say, well, you know people, you know people who hook up people, you have connections, talk to somebody. I ain't got no fucking connections no more. I don't hustle no more. I'm not out in the street trying to make moves and shit, do things no more. Because I growed up. I became a respectful young man. I don't have what I want out of life. I am disappointed with myself and a whole bunch of other things. But I'm not in a midlife crisis, please. Don't go there. Woo, almost spilled some more. So there. So, in all that I do, guess what the fuck this is? Is this beer? And lemon juice? No, it's not beer and lemon juice. This is one of those sodas. It looks like beer. I put the lemon juice in there so it tastes like other than that nasty ass. You know those ginseng? You know, I don't know if y'all got ginseng sodas, but this is a nasty fucking ginseng. And I put this in there so it tastes like lemon ginseng. And I was just faking you uh, out with this beer bottle. I am not an advocate for alcohol, marijuana, or anything that can be strewed as illegal. <laughs> can be strewed that can strewed as illegal. Alcohol once was illegal in America, and it is illegal for someone under the age of 21 to drink alcohol. So, if you're under the age of 21, do not drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes, and or marijuana. Now, let me get back to my video. That was my little public service for the motherfuckers out there. Like I said, look out for Hood Report 2. This will be my last video, and I'm going back on my little hiatus. And I will not be back until January 3rd. On January 3rd, I'm going to hit you with five videos for every day I've been off the air. I left the air three days before Christmas. I came back now. So I don't know if I want to give you those videos from then. I want to just slowly release them out. I have a Martin Luther King video coming. I have a JFK video coming. I have a quote me if you want to slavery type Ku Klux video coming. And I have the definitive Barack Obama video coming. Um, let me go get something real quick. I got a minute. So the other day, I am in the hood. So I'm sitting back in the hood, you know what I mean? And they got these shirts in the hood. Now, I want to be real honest with you folks. I want to be blatantly honest. Arabs are bleeding the fuck out of black people in the black communities around America because every little store is owned by Arab. Every little so-called hood store with the hood shirts and everything is owned by Arabs. They cater to Mexicans and Arabs. I mean Mexicans and blacks. How come we can't sell our own shit to our own people? I don't know. Until then, I'm going to report on this again. You've been too.